Well, hello everyone. Here you show you right here is like the fifth grade math and your tuition. And uh, basically, if we want to look at it, it's also is talk about you for tuition cost. And you have right here this example right here of when I was young. And I don't know if everybody here has you know seen this your picture right here of me right here. But uh, when I was very young, and uh, I would probably say that that you know uh, like uh, I would have been uh, right around I guess you say uh, maybe around the fifth grade something like that. But uh, anyway. Uh, but uh, you have right here is a picture right here of me right here. And if we were to be working like, say, the type of basic math. And uh, the type of uh, basic math, like you know, for like fifth grade math right here, most of us can remember from like, you know, from the, the fifth grade, you know, even from the third grade of, of like uh, being able to you know, learn the, the basic, you know, counting as well as, you know, if it's going to be fractions. And as I can remember that, that you know, when I was in the fifth grade, actually, that uh, I can remember getting into a little bit of fractions counting too, and uh, and I know some of that was pretty difficult too. But uh, and uh, as well as you know for additional subtraction, as well as you know for additional problems, and uh, sometimes and we may warrant were that you know for if anything that's related to like any type of math and. Uh, Anybody that may want to, or if you get a certain amount of math problems taken care of within a certain amount of time, maybe in a row or so, and like, yeah, that uh, we're like wanting to, or yeah, with tuition costs, it's basically it's like you know, for like money that you're making you out of pocket just to be able to take care of it. So the part of this activity right here is talking about as to where the difference between like, we say between uh, fifth grade math uh, and as well as for tuition cost. So if any kids were warned to were that yeah that that with anything related to like mathematics and uh, and talk about it's like for counting as well as rounding uh, and then uh, you know any other additional type fraction your know, math problems and uh, we were to or when we were in the fifth grade that uh, you were know, like warned to or that uh, you know trying to solve a, a math problem or two is maybe not all difficult maybe for everybody but then some that may say is to where that oh it was pretty difficult at times it's like uh, like in the fifth grade that you may have had those difficult math problems but if we were to see this right here this example right here what I found on file of course is like uh, you have right here is like with uh, some examples of, uh, of some of my math work and I kept looking around, you know, for any examples of maybe some fifth grade examples or maybe third grade examples. But here, right here, I don't know if anybody has seen this right here, is that this math you know, work right here is to where that, that you know, talks about like a type of, uh, looks like multiplication tables and you know, like multiplications. And um, and I don't know if, if we can remember about when we were in the fifth grade or maybe in the third grade. Or this could have been maybe like a, you know, from like a, a later you know math class or maybe an earlier math class. But uh, but you have right here are is example right here of some math problems right here, and um, I guess we could say is like the C's are usually for marks like you for correct. But you see right here is like a if this was right here I guess like an apple tree right here you have right here is my name right here but if we were to be looking at this right here if this was right here was an example of my fifth grade you know math uh, work right here and compared to looking at something like we say for like tuition cost and uh, like when we look at a bill that we may think about especially to where if it's going to be like student loans or anything like that. That you're like warrant toward a lot of stuff, and whenever we get a bill, that there may be some things that we may see as to where that we may have missed, and as well as if we were very clear about as to where if the, the things that the, basically that we would be responsible for taking care of, and as well as for what we need to do, and as well as your know, files of paperwork, and and I can tell anybody here that you know a lot of those files of paperwork, which they don't bother me too much at time, other than the. The fact about is that, that with uh, these uh, these papers here, that that, that seems like a lot of like a, like what anybody say that kind of a headache, but kind of not, but just a lot of reading. But really, that um, I don't think necessarily to where it's not about what you call getting you uh, further in the debt, and as well as any type of of uh, any type of you know, real high concerns or worrisome. But on your hand too, just to kind of get you aware of you know about what's going on with your case, and as well as uh, with uh, anything that's going on with like the, the changes in the financial situations or anything like that. 
So if anybody were warned to where they, yeah, that, that whenever they, uh, you know, get a bill, and a lot of times that that's like one of the worst of it is to where they add to classes over with, and then uh, you get a bill in the mail or so, or you check your account, and then you see about any changes going on in the mathematical type count. So if I were to look back at this right here, this right here would be like we say is my way of how I, um, I'm sure I mentioned before, is to where this, you know, this will be my way of count right here. And uh, this right here looks like right here six right here. So if anybody were to have right here is the dots right here, and like in a row. So I have these arrows like if they were aligned in like a row. So you have right here for like three. If, if most of us can remember about how uh, we would do um, like a, like the, you know division problems, it's like you would uh, divide at these uh, what you call make uh, the groups into smaller groups, and uh, like uh, you would still. If we want to call it like the remainder would still be the same, but then it would just be like put placed in a new group. So if we were to actually work the math right here, and you're like, Warren, to where you have right here are these dots right here, and I like uh, if this was right here was me right here in the fifth grade, and thinking about as to where a lot of the math, I you know, a lot of times I would always think instead either between holding my four or five or so fingers, just counting by my fingers, it's like, and then trying to count. You know, like you have a, because uh, you and we all know it's like you're working with like uh, up to four or so fingers on our hands, and we're like trying to keep track of all these uh, math problems here. And uh, during that time, it's like how I, how I was able to keep track of anything that more I could change as well, doing the additional and subtractions as well as your head uh, as well, and uh, just way about simple ways about how the brain works, especially. But whenever when we're in the fifth grade. That you're like thinking about as to where math seems like it's it's pretty you know especially with the teacher especially with your classmates with your teacher that a lot of the activities that you were doing in class that I'm sure were pretty interesting you know, during that during those times that they may even have it to where that uh, that you would be able to win a an ice cream or maybe get a candy bar you know just for getting something right or so but sometimes like you're like Warren to where they, really why can't that be the same you know, if you're going to be taking care of a bill. And uh, when uh, we think about this right here, is that really that, uh, you know, uh, when uh, we look at a bill, it seems quite different because, you know, it seems a little bit maybe the same, but then on your hand, too, that it's not really, I guess it's not really the fact about this tour that, that they're telling you about, they're asking you about how much more, do you think that you need? I'm like, I guess whenever you look at a bill that you're pretty much or try to figure out as to where this is what you're being, this is what the charges are, that's, this is what they're billing you for, and then this is how much it is cost. So whenever we look at a bill, you know, it's like you like we weren't to where the, yeah, that you know that uh, if you have like we say uh, like a whole collection of say of apples or so, and then uh, let's just say if you cut the, the apple into about maybe, uh, you know, four, for, you know, if you cut it into pieces and you're like warning to her about how many pieces is there, but then to think about it as to where the, yeah, that, that if it's going to be subtraction or as well as additional problems or if it's anything about what you call it like for uh, multiplication is like uh, for additional signs or anything like that. So when we look at this right here, in which I could tell anybody here that I don't think this was from my fifth grade year, but let's just say if it was, then you're like, well, you to her and that they like would say is that these numbers right here for between uh, 15 and maybe 24. I don't think these numbers are really measured by what you say is like we say you know, for like you know, between a uh, you know 25 or maybe 40 dollars or something like that. So whenever we look at this and uh, looking at like these math multiplication tables right here, and uh, at the time that you just kind of look right here as to where. That uh, really, that is it all measured by pieces, or is it measured by, you say, for counting as well as a, or, you know, arithmetic multiplications or anything like that? So, any type of measurement. And um, so, with these, uh, which you call these basic measurements, they're again between bigger and smaller. And sometimes, though, that I know I have uh, uh, other sources of a uh, uh, math work, of course, around, but then on your hand, too, that anybody like we want to, like, especially with me, though, is to where the, the, whenever they get confusing and more complicated, that's whenever you just want to kind of sit to the side. 
But when we look at this right here, is that uh, think about whenever you get a bill, especially and think about as to where a lot of uh, the math classes, if you were maybe if you were in like maybe um, you know algebra or maybe calculus, or if you took maybe chemistry for the semester, and then that uh, you know you were charged altogether about up to maybe two or three thousand dollars or so for that semester, and uh, you're like warrant to where that you know does that a lot of that have anything to do with that you missed a number of math problems on the test, or does that have anything to do with by the, basically about the school? So you're like one or two or had the time. What is paid for by the state? <laughs> so a lot of stuff, which I'm sure, like with any student, that you know, whenever I was in the fifth grade, that they may say is to worry that you did not even have to worry about a lot of these uh, cost of a lot of things. But uh, whenever you're young, that seems like to worry. Yeah, some of that stuff quite a bit was paid for by the state, but. I guess it's not really, we we'll say not everything has been settled yet. There's not like what you call like a settlement quite yet about whenever you do graduate and then that you go ahead and make payments on on, on a bill, especially if it's going to be tuition and you're like warrant to her that, hey, that uh, something's going on here. I'm like, well, I'm here in charge too much. So I guess uh, right now it's like it's not really like a settlement, like an agreement to her that, uh, that you know, you were, you know, you're built so much, but, um, uh, the way I think about it, though is like really that with like with anybody that uh, that whenever you're going to be getting uh, you know stacks of papers and uh, like with me though that uh, you know this right here would have been me if I would have been using what you call one of those uh, paper binders back in 1994 and you're like weren't or whenever I was in the fifth grade and I can remember that I had a lot of complications with trying to solve math problems and then think about it's like the type of math problems of course that I'm uh, having to work out as to where yeah that you know like it well like with anybody that uh, especially if they won't let you use calculators and that can be very difficult too so at this point here was me right here and like with anybody like weren't to where they look like a handsome young man right there and I'm like I'm pretty sure that was whenever I was in the fifth grade and then in this picture right here was like uh, I say about right around the fifth grade or maybe uh maybe about whenever I was about you know, yeah, about 10 years old, you know, 10, 11, I think I, I'd probably say about maybe 12, 13, something like that, whenever I was in this picture here. But, uh, so people could see it right here, is that, um, that like any type of math, you know, math work that we're working on, especially in class and compared to trying to take care of a bill, and, uh, you're like warrant to worry that, really, that, uh, we may not know all that cost about what that forty thousand or what twenty five thousand dollars or something like that was. So whenever we uh, think about this right here and look at a bill right here, we see right here for ten thousand seven hundred as well as for fourteen thousand seven hundred as well as for forty thousand eight hundred ninety. This right here is like for tuition costs. So that basically means it's to where including the books and then the cost of like the quarter and as well as anything else that the, the schools may have charged you especially as well as for what was paid for through financial aid especially so you're like warrant to where that whenever you get a bill that uh, you're like thinking about as to where that you know, anything that more likely it seems very high right now you know very very high rates going on here and um so I guess uh, like with anybody like me that whenever you're going to be starting that uh, you're like thinking about as to where that you start out with the deposit. But then with this deposit was not anything like you know, what you call up to $5,000. So and I know with like with any students like me as to where if you had to get a loan or more likely work it out with the, with the school or maybe work it out from a job as to where that while you're working that you're working out payments as well. So that's just a thing is to where like with any students that, that they have poly, you know, they got you know paperwork and maybe over fifteen or maybe up to forty five, more than forty five pages worth of paperwork. But uh, you're like weren't to where that a lot of that stuff that you were doing even in math class and that they're like thinking about like what do they expect from me is just think about as to where that I do my math work and it seems like the bill just wants to increase. So this is like this like the type of math right here, and I know like with anybody that uh, that after maybe about the first week or so of after you get the bills, and you may think about as to where that that's really that could be very stressful. And I know like with any students that uh, back whenever they were in the fifth grade, that they were like thinking about as to where a lot of stuff that they had you do is to where that you didn't quite understand a lot of it, and 
So anybody that may warrant to worry that, yeah, that, that whenever you pay a bill that you pretty much, you have to work out an arrangement as to where that you'll bring a, any kind of, of source of income in, especially, and uh, especially, you know, job or you know, anything else uh, that, you know, where you can be able to bring uh, some income in, especially, and uh, you're like warrant to where if you don't bring enough in and then that kind of puts you on a situation to where not, now what you're going to do now, but, um, but on the other hand, that, you uh, what I usually see on a bill is to where, like I mentioned before, is to where back when I was in the fifth grade that, uh, you know, I did not see very many bills in my name, you know, like anything in my name, and like anybody that may warrant to where, if you're going to be looking at a bill, do you kind of look at it as it's yours, and that's something that you want to kind of read about and kind of understand a little bit better, something that you want to learn so far as you have a goal set for a good higher education, and uh for a good education, you know, improved education, and you kind of want to look at the bill, you know, the bill will be in that student's name, and you're like, Warren, to where that, yeah, this is what you want to look at, especially this is what you want to learn, and in the way that you want to learn it. So I know, like, with anybody, that, you know, like, with any, you know, parents or anybody that uh, they may warn to where that whenever you get a, a bill that uh, thicken it, some people that may say it's like they want to, they may say put it somewhere where they just, well, don't we even want to have to worry about it, or they want to, they say that, well, they, they want to shred it or anything like that, but um, all you have to say with the bill being, you know, need to be taken care of especially, you know, I like say for if it's going to be medical costs or anything like that, but um, but really, I guess the question goes by as to where that anything maybe from the fifth grade compared to what's going on now, it's like for like tuition cost or if it's any other type of cost. And you're know, like thinking that uh, you know back whenever you were in the fifth grade, that took you a long time. Like you, know, you may have, you know, you know, you may have had your complications trying to memorize your multiplication tables as well as do any type of decimal fractions. And uh, sometimes, like with any students, that, that whenever you're young, you don't quite understand it, or that by the time you do understand it, and it gets harder. So it's it seems like that. Uh, Anybody that may want to work, they think of one fun thing about it and then think of one worse thing about it. <laughs> the fun part of about it is to work that, yeah, do you like an activity about it, but then, uh, you know, just to kind of understand just a little bit more about how it works, especially. And we may have heard that, you know, a number of times as to where math can be very fun, but sometimes you just really have that, what you call, you know, have a be working with somebody, you just what you call like you say that you know, hey that, that you get in the groups and then you actually do the the, the work and the activities as well as the counting as well as any other uh, anything else and more like it that they may say yeah the candy bar you know, like you know, they earn it if you get like maybe three right in a row or so then they would give you a candy bar or any type of candy or special treat or something like that. So sometimes we weren't, or why is it that some of that some of that stuff is not offered from a bill? <laughs> and I don't know. I'm like, really? I'm like, do you think you know, really that there may be some companies and some places that, that they may say that, uh, that that they don't you know they don't mail you any treat, you know they don't mail you, and they don't give you no don't they don't award you with any type of candy bar or anything like that if you're going to be what you call on time with your payments maybe three times in a row that you're going to be making a payment within that, that 15 days or so grace period or something like that. So that's just a thing that like with anybody, like if it's going to be maybe the parents who are trying to take care of their bills and you're like one or two, one of them cannot be tuition costs, but the things that they can remember maybe from whenever they learned in the fifth grade and you're like Warren to Warren, that a lot of the stuff right here is that the the way, just the way how it works, especially just works a little bit different, a lot different compared to what you learned in the fifth grade. So I know with me, though, when I was in the, in the third grade, that I can remember that, you know, trying to uh, memorize my, the times tables, like the threes and then the fours, and and they would give you, like, a test, like, something kind of like this, to where that they would have, I see, for one that, you know, you know one times a, uh, one times one, like if they have like the ones and then it's like the threes, like yeah, three times one, three times two. So they would they would only give you like maybe a minute, you know, to to solve about about ten of these. And I know like with anybody, if you're gonna be starting a like a math quiz, they may only give you like a minute. You would know, and then they gave you like a number of math problems, kind of like this right here. So if we were to look at a bill, and if anybody like wanted to her, that this right here was like, say, the total amount right here. This right here 
was the total amount right here. And let's just say that uh, if you were what you call trying to make a payment over the phone or something like that, and you're trying to calculate about you know about how much that would be, and then you're like say do the test, and and uh, some may say that you know if you get it wrong, hey that's fine, but that you know it's like we'll try. But then if you get it right, and then you'll you'll get awarded and. They may award you with maybe a few points or so, maybe 10 points or so, maybe if you want to call it credits or some kind. But um, anyway, but talk about say for tuition right here, I like for 40000 So any student like me is that they're like wanting to worry that, yeah, that uh, whenever you uh, think about for, from back in the fifth grade, if most of us, if any of us can really uh, remember, you know, anything that they may have learned from the fifth grade. And I know I can remember just a little bit. You know, the math books that they give you just to you know, work a math problem. But um, but on your hand, that, that whenever we get a bill like you know, tuition payments, and you're all I think about is to where it seems like everything just works totally different, you know, compared to, I like, would say, back from back in the fifth grade year. And uh, the work that they were teaching you was quite a bit difficult. And and so from back in the fifth grade, that you're like, weren't to where that, yeah, that, uh, that if most of us can remember, that the math, that you know, a lot of the math that they, that they did have is like if it's going to be like, say, lunch money or if it's lunch tickets or anything like that. But on your hand, that, that you're like, weren't to where, like, really, anybody, if I say it, some of that stuff would be paid for by the state. But on your hand, that, you know, by the school it is, but um, but on, on your hand, that seems like to where, if, like, we, if we were to do the study about this, is that, the, to say, between the, the you know, fifth grade math as well as for tuition though is that uh, you're like thinking that uh, you know for any source of higher education that it seems like it's all the above giving you the opportunity to where that just like you know, whenever you're an adult and you wanna you wanna go back to school and then this is how much it costs working out the payment arrangements from there getting a settlement made so I guess really if there's like any other type of better solution more likely say is to where the yeah that if anything that to try to take care of you know, uh, for what that you know, need finances to come along, and uh, and you're like Warren to where that yeah that uh, you know math that may have not always been what you call our favorite partner, say our favorite friend, but then on your hand that I guess say uh, that which which would be called is like say one of the you know one of the sources of information that we would have on file based on from like say for payment history and as well as for what's what's the rest of what's the remaining balance that is due so for any students that they may warrant or that uh, if they would have said something like back in English classes to her that uh, you know yeah that uh, you know if they want to know is to her that they uh, you know if you know they you know, want the one to have if they they want to know what it was like you know, to maybe have a bank account. You know, it's like have a savings account. You know, a savings account that remained up to about up to fourteen thousand dollars, and thinking about what you would do with that kind of money, especially with forty thousand, forty thousand eight hundred ninety. So you're like thinking about you know, since since you were uh, since you were a baby that you were like warned to her that yeah that that a lot of that money you know, like yeah well during that time that uh, people say either that they didn't know. That, you know, it, it was either it did not even exist or if it was a matter of us toward it, it was not so expensive. So if anybody were to say, if they were to take a vote, they would probably say it was not so expensive. Because I know back in the early, uh, back in the early 1970s, some may say that, that, you know, college expenses, of course, if anything, it was only about maybe either three or four thousand dollars a semester, if that. But, uh, you know, really, I don't really know about how much it cost just to, you know, from back in the 1970s about how much it costs just to, just to go, uh, you know, to school. But, uh, you know, especially for like, you know, college years, like for any type of tuition cost. But uh, the way I think about it, though is like really that uh, for like uh, it goes by saying is to where you find work, you find jobs that more likely you start making more money with. So you're like thinking about it as to where that back when I was in the fifth grade, if I can remember, and I, I always wanted to know about what my first job was going to be. <laughs> and uh, one of those, of course, anybody would probably say that one of those was keeping your homework organized. you doing your homework, keeping it organized. And the other one was knowing about working with the teachers and the counselors up there at the school, by anything that need to be done especially. But, um, you know, any forms, you know, parents' permissions, and I say that, yeah, 
So they are like, we want to any kids that they say that, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, well, you if you have, like, any type of duties whenever you're in the fifth grade, especially whenever you're in the fifth grade, that uh, they may give you a form that uh, they want your parents to sign. And, you know, if, if it's going to be, like, field trips or anything like that. Huh? But on your hand, I have right here, it's like they have right here is a classwork right here. And as well as a, for, like, a, you know, for like, is this right here, there's a group right here, you know, for six. And uh, talk about here you know, for the number of math problems we're able to solve, and then, as well as like for knowing about your know, first fifth grade 1994. But anyway, uh, but they have it. Talk about say with Matthew, like talk about say whenever he's in fifth grade, knowing about it's like for the fifth grade math, you know, talk say for the tuition 1994, and like talk about say compared to now it is. But other than that, fifth grade math, tuition, mathematics, you know, thanks for watching. Have a great day.